Good morning, welcome to our All Age service here at Wealdstone Baptist Church. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have so much fun today. We've got a craft, we've got a story, we've got a game and we've got some songs. So we're going to go over to our first song, which is Our God is a Great Big God. Over to Chris. Our God is a great big Awesome, thanks Chris. I really love that song. Our God is a great big God. Now we're going to go over to a craft. Grab your bits and let's go craft.
I hope you had so much fun making that craft. We're now going to go over to Chris for our game. Since lockdown began, we've been playing different games with our youth. My daughter Zoe is quite competitive and she thinks she's the best at it. This is Zoe. Secretly though, Sue thinks she's better. So there's only one way to find this out. We are going to try the great British runaround to see who is the best at running around. Is it Zoe or is it Sue? Now I think actually the answer is one of you guys. So you can join in as well. What I'm going to do is give a list of things one at a time. The first person to bring me back that thing and press their buzzer gets a point. So if I say, for instance, bring me a Bible, the first one to person to bring me a Bible, press the buzzer, gets point number one. Can you beat them? So get ready. When I say go and give you your first item, you run and get it, Sue will run and get it, and Zoe will run and get it. First person to bring it back wins. Are we ready? On your marks, get set, go. Okay, so we have Zoe and we have Sue. Who do we think is going to be the best of the great British runaround? So you get ready as well. I will call out an item one at a time. Run, grab the item, bring it back. Can you beat Zoe and Sue? Okay, are we ready? Now then, don't forget the buzzers. Sue's buzzer sounds like this. And Zoe's buzzer sounds like this. So let's see who can bring it back the first. Are we ready? On your marks. Get set. Your first item to bring back to me is going to be a toilet roll. <laughs> person to bring me back a uh, teddy bear. First person to bring me back a dirty sock. <laughs> ah, round three to oh. Zoe. First person to bring me a pencil. <laughs> Next round will be a toothbrush. <laughs> A hat! 
and let's have a blade of grass. Next round we'll have not in your hair, a hairband. <laughs> Is that a hairband? That's a scrunchie. It's a scrunchie. A frying pan. And the final round, I would like you to bring me a bar of soap. Final round goes to Zoe, oh, so no. let's just stop for a second, we're going to add up our points. Okay, the moment of truth, suspense is gathering here right now. Do we think Zoe or do we think Sue won? Or what do you think? Did you beat them? How many times? Ask mums and dads, post on Facebook, let us know how many times you beat them both. Anyway, the winner. And the best Great British run around 2020 by six to four, we have Zoe! Well done, Zoe. You will always be better than Sue at this game. And that's it. Back over to Kaylee. That game was so much fun. I hope you had lots and lots of time to run around and burn off some energy. Now we're gonna go over to Sue for our talk. Hi everyone. So, do you have any questions? Do you know how you are watching this video today? Possibly you found it on Facebook. Possibly uh, somebody found it on YouTube. Don't know. How did it get on to YouTube? How did it get on to Facebook? How does this background work? So many questions. And some of these things, even me and Chris and the other leaders have had to learn how to do. And you at the moment, you might be doing school at home or you might be doing some school at school and some school at home. Now, somebody who's been learning something new this week is Lily. So I'm going to hand over to her and she's going to show you just something amazing that she's found out how to do this week. So over to you, Lily.
Oh my word. I think it's normally Chris that tips things over people's heads, but this week it was Lily. Oh my. So I spoke to Lily earlier and I said, how about we try this trick out? So she spent all morning practicing it. She didn't know how it worked. You at home might know how it works or you might not. I don't know. This is the thing with a magic trick. The secret is knowing the secret, knowing how it works. And once you understand and know, sometimes it makes it more amazing. And sometimes we can be a little bit disappointed, I suppose. But Lily's trick works in a way that you make sure the glass of water is full. And when you put the piece of card on top, you press down on the glass so it seals the glass. So when she turns it over, hopefully, if you do it right, when you take your hand away from the card, the water won't fall out, but it will do eventually. So if you want to have a go, then feel free. But I suggest you do what Lily did to start off with, and that's do it over a sink and not over a grown-up's head or your brother and sister until you know what you're doing. Okay, right. So why am I showing you this? Why am I telling you how to do the trick? Because that's not normally what we do. Well, you see, some things we understand and some things we don't quite understand. We sung at the beginning about our God being a great big God, that he's beyond our wildest dreams. You may at home sometimes, when you say goodnight to your mum and dad or your grandparents, you might say, I love you to the moon and back. And then they'll say, I love you to the moon and back and back around the earth and back again. And so on. Because we can't quite put into words how much we love somebody that is really special to us. Now, God's love is the sort of love that is always there, has always been there, will always be there, regardless of what we do. Just like when we make a mistake at home and we say sorry, and then instantly we know that we're forgiven and we have a hug and everything's okay. And today, I just want you to think about how we can really trust when it says that God loves us. He loves us beyond our wildest dreams. So to finish, I'm going to teach you a verse, okay? So it says in Ephesians 3.18, And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should. How wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Let's put some actions into that. So how wide, how wide can you go? We went wide earlier, and maybe you can still see my hands, but maybe not. How long? Stretch out as long as you can. And how, Hi, all the way up to the sky and back again, all the way up to the moon, the universe. And how deep, how deep can I make myself disappear off the camera? We'll see. That is how humongous God's love is for you. And it will never change. It always stays the same. So regardless of what we have going on right now, we can trust and know just as many of the people in the Bible have found out. Like Noah, he found out too. And maybe we'll find out a bit about him too later on. Let's just finish with a quick prayer. Are we ready? You know this by now. Ready? Get your fingers ready. One, two, three, 
two, three, four, and five. Dear Lord God, I just thank you that you love us right from the beginning, right before we were born. You knew us and you loved us right then and you love us right now. Wherever we are, whatever we're doing, whatever we're good at, whatever we're not good at, you love us and your love will never change. Be with us now. Help us to celebrate you and help us to trust in your love. Amen. I'll see you soon. Bye. Wow, that talk was amazing. Thank you so much, Sue. Our God is amazing. We're now just going to get cosy and go over and watch a cartoon. Stories of the Bible. Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. Wow, that cartoon was really good. Now we're gonna go over to our final song. And if you're feeling really brave, why don't you ask mums and dads permission and video yourself dancing along to this next song and post it on our Facebook page.
unfortunately brings us to the end of our service so just before we go i'm just going to pray for us so we're going to go one two three four and five jesus we just thank you that we can come together and we can have fun and whilst we're not together in person we can still meet and be with you lord we thank you that you are an awesome big god and that you are our best friend keep us safe in these weeks as we can't be together and look after us and remind us how big and awesome you are Amen. Thank you. Bye.